Yesterday's update in Call of Duty Black Ops 6 was an interesting one. It added in Nuketown, a fan favorite map which you would think everyone would love. And side note, just for a second, if you saw my video yesterday about the Nuketown Easter eggs, private matches for Nuketown were actually added today and I did a bunch of testing and found something odd. Now, I have an entire video up on my second channel, which was us testing out a million different things, trying to find this Easter egg. But the one thing we found was this. Team Deathmatch. Eliminate the enemy. Take them out. It was a very strange audio cue, which sounded like zombies or something along those lines that we never really could recreate one to one. However, it also happened once at the end of a game. No idea if that has something to do with the Easter egg, if we were onto something, but that is the only strange thing that I could actually get to happen. Now, moving back into this update, as far as what I'm talking about in this video, this update revealed some glaring, glaring issues with Call of Duty Black Ops 6. And up until this point, I have been extremely positive and even going as far as you could say glazing Call of Duty Black Ops 6 because I've really enjoyed what they've created with this game. But this update just brought them some things to light that need to be addressed if this game wants to continue to be popular because this game sold incredibly well but i'm worried that if these things aren't fixed that may go downhill incredibly quickly now the reason why i say this update revealed them is because nuketown really brought these things to light and the gameplay that you're going to be seeing throughout this video is all nuketown and you're going to see all of the things that i'm talking about over and over and over again the first of which is a huge one it is combat recon this is a specialist ability for using all blue perks and one of the abilities is your hud lights up when someone's looking at you from off screen that's a good one, but that's not the one that's broken. The one that's broken is when you spawn in, you can actually see highlighted enemies through walls. And in Black Ops 6, most of the walls are relatively penetrable. In other words, you can just spawn in, shoot through the walls, and kill people. And this makes it so that if you push into the enemy's spawn, it just doesn't really go well for you. This is extremely broken and extremely overpowered. Now, why is this coming to light now? Well, I've seen some people make videos on it before Nuketown was added, but in Nuketown, when you spawn in, the enemies are always spawning or are directly across the map from you. Always, like literally constantly. So whenever you spawn in, you can see where the entire enemy team is through the walls and just immediately start shooting at them. Or if they're about to come around a corner, just aim down sights and fire away. This is incredibly broken. It's it's essentially brief time wall hacks. And honestly, I didn't have a huge problem with this at the launch of the game, but after playing this update and seeing what actually went on here, this needs to be addressed. This needs to be fixed. And this is one of those things where if it's not addressed and if it's not fixed, this is only going to become a bigger and bigger problem. And with them only having small maps in this game or small to medium sized maps, this is something that can be exploited in a huge way. And if you've played face off, you would know that this was already a problem before Nuketown was added. The second thing that I've been running into a lot, and maybe this is just me, is stuns and concussions. We're going to talk about the sweatiness of this map in a minute, but as far as the stuns and concussions go, if I don't just sit back and look through a window or look through a doorway, I am constantly being stunned. Now, Tack Mask, which is the way to counter this, is something that's unlocked much later, I think maybe level 44 throughout the Prestige, so a lot of people are just not going to be able to counter these whatsoever. Now, personally, I use Stims, but a lot of people are using these and then using the Wild Card, which gives them a bonus one, so constantly I'm getting hit by Nate and stuns and I think this is actually a game design issue because when it comes to stuns and concussions the reason why everyone has them is because the pick 10 system is no longer a thing you see in previous call of duty games you had the pick 10 system which you could trade out using a tactical a lethal um, any other sort of wild cards or even attachments for other things like perks or more attachments or things like that and then most people wouldn't run lethals and tacticals because of this, and that would be the way of balancing it and have less people throwing stuns or throwing nades at you constantly. And on Nuketown, I am constantly being hit by stuns and nades, and that might be because of the next reason, which is the sweatiness. I didn't realize how sweaty this game was 
until this map was put into the game. And the reason why I say this is because yesterday, as I mentioned, I was trying to figure out what the Easter egg was on this map and private matches were not put into the game yet. So I was basically just running around and getting killed over and over again, basically reverse boosting without trying to do so. And I assumed that today I was going to hop into the game and my lobbies were going to be super, super easy because I essentially reverse boosted. That was not the case. These games that you are watching here are essentially my first two of three games that I played, and they were just as sweaty, if not more sweaty than some of the games I got into yesterday when I was trying to find out the Easter eggs. I don't know whether I am just getting old, but I feel as though when I play on Nuketown, I'm worried that I'm going to break a hip just trying to play the game properly. And obviously, that is something that I have seen over and over again on Twitter, on other people's videos, and it comes down to a couple of things. Some people are wondering whether this is skill-based matchmaking, but as I just mentioned, I essentially reverse boosted and didn't have this. Now, I think a lot of the top-tier gameplay that you're probably seeing on YouTube is in a lot of cases going to be from people to boxing. Now, not always, there are some really good players out there, but people using a reverse boosted account that basically has no kills on it, joining on that game and then playing the game out against basically bots. Those are gonna be a lot of the really good games you're gonna see. But otherwise, I think another issue is, is just most people who play Call of Duty now have played it for years and years and years and are simply good at the game. And the base skill level of people playing the game is so much higher than when Black Ops 1 first released Nuketown. And because we're getting a version of Nuketown that is the same as the first one, people go in it expecting the same sort of gameplay experience that they experienced 14 years ago. And the fact is, people don't play Call of Duty like that anymore. And in conjunction with the skill-based matchmaking, the lobbies on this map are so ridiculously sweaty that, like I said, I feel like I'm about to break a hip every time I'm sliding around this map. Now, the final issue and the one that I just don't understand is Packet Burst. What the heck is going on with Packet Burst? Every single game that I get into for about the first minute of the game, I am lagging like crazy. And as I mentioned, this map just came to private matches. I am having the same problem in private matches that I am in public lobbies, which means it's the game's issue. It's not like I'm trying to connect to servers that other people are and because skill-based matchmaking is putting me against people who are further away, I'm getting more packet burst. No, it is just simply a problem with the game and the net code inside the game. The server tick rates are garbage and because of that, I'm assuming packet burst is made worse. These are all massively ridiculously large issues that need to be addressed and need to be changed so now that i've trashed the game a little bit let's discuss how some of these can actually be fixed starting out with combat recon i think the seeing pink people through walls just needs to be removed i saw the exclusive ace put something out there saying that maybe you should just reveal people like an advanced uav when you first spawn in when you're using the blue specialist and i honestly think that's a pretty good way of doing it that way you're just not immediately shooting through walls when you spawn in this is something that on nuketown is is unplayable or nearly unplayable with this perk it is, if you push someone else's spawn, most people by now have figured out if you use this, you can basically immediately get a kill when you spawn in. So you can't push other people's spawn. Spawn trapping is way harder and it, it just doesn't work. It's so glaringly obvious on this map how bad the combat recon perk is as far as concussions goes really i don't think there's a fix for this i think just the way that the prestiging works and where you unlock tack mask i don't think a lot of people are going to use their uh prestige tokens on tack mask right away so it's just something we are going to have to deal with and like i said every time i pushed an objective it made it obviously abundantly clear that i was going to get stunned over and over and over again and they last a long time and maybe that is the way that you fix it you shorten the duration of time that people are stunned for with concussions that could be one easy way of doing it but it, it was a lot the sweatiness and tryhards well I have a feeling Call of Duty is just like that now. We have grown older and with it, people have played Call of Duty for longer and longer, figured out how to be better and with a higher skill gap in Black Ops 6 with the Omni movement, we might just have to face the facts that we are not going to get lobbies like the old days. Now, 
they could kind of take a step back on the skill-based matchmaking and kind of alleviate it in that way just a little bit, making it so you can play a, against a wider variety of players. But I have a feeling that just the base players are so much better now that that experience that we had back 14 years ago is just not going to make a return. And then Packet Burst, just Call of Duty, pay for better servers. It has to be the only, it's the only game that I have this issue in. And it just pay for better servers, and then this issue is gone. Or at least it should be. I don't know whether it's the game, whether it's the game engine, or whether it's the horrible tick rates that the servers are on, or whether it's texture streaming. But whatever this issue is, it has been years at this point that this has been going on. I could barely play Modern Warfare Zombies because of this issue, or Warzone for that matter, and when the Season 1 comes out and Warzone's implemented, I guarantee you I'm going to have the same problem again. It needs to be fixed. For a AAA game, it is unacceptable to have that issue year after year after year to the extent that it is in the game. If it happens from time to time, lag happens from time to time. But for every single game that I get into for the first minute to have huge packet bursts to the point where I can barely play the game is completely unacceptable. I'm loving Black Ops 6. I really, truly am loving Black Ops 6. But if these things and issues persist and are not addressed, things like Nuketown that we have loved are no longer going to be playable, especially because of Combat Recon. But if you're having these issues, if you're not, let me know what you think down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, I will have more story videos and Easter egg videos and things like we normally do on the channel, but I just wanted to get these things off my chest, hear what you guys have to say about it, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're making this too hard, and I want